morning, good morning, good morning. Lisa here. This is Lisa 6 and 3, and here is God's strength for you this day. We're going to talk about Sister Hagar this morning. Yes, Sister Hagar. Let's go to Genesis 16, and we're going to start at um, verse 3. Then Sarah, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, and gave her to her husband, Abram, to be his wife. After Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, she went in, so he went in to Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress became despised in her eyes. Let's jump down to um, verse 9. She fled. I am fleeing from the presence of my mistress, Sarah. The angel of the Lord said to her, Return to your mistress and admit yourself under her hand. Then the angel of the Lord said to her, I will multiply your descendants exceedingly so that they shall not be counted for multitude." This is what happens. Number one, when you don't wait on the Lord, like Sarai didn't wait on the Lord. And Hagar, who obeyed and listened to her boss. Now, Hagar was given the opportunity to be with Sarai's husband, Abram. Now, it was crazy for Sarah to do that. But however, as a servant, you don't ever say no to the master. And she said yes to Abram. She didn't have a choice. But Sarai got upset with her because she was able, able to produce something that she could not produce. And that was a child. So Hagar flees and escapes from the hand of the evil one who gave her the job. But God saw her out there in the wilderness. Mm -mm -mm. God will find you in your wilderness. Yes, he will. And the angel of the Lord said, go back home. I'm going to bless what you have. It's not your fault that she's upset with you. It's not your fault that you were able to produce what she could not produce. So go back home. I got your back. Many of us may be feeling that way, whether it's in a job, in your home, or wherever in your life, you may have been given the opportunity to do something. And when you did it well, and you do it well, the person who gave you the job is now mad. And you run and you escape. It's like, I can't handle this. I wrote this down. God will find you on the run. And he will bless you on the run. Today's thought. Don't run. And if you do run and try to escape, God will find you out there. He's going to snatch you up and say, go back home. Because your blessing is there. Your blessing is not out here. Even though I'm processing the blessing while you're out there. You got to go back home and face the music. The blessing is in the endurance. Ah, that's a good word. The blessing is in the endurance, y'all. The blessing is in the endurance. Share the word of God with somebody this morning. They may feel like what they're doing is, um, is not enough. And they feel like running. But let them know God will find you in the this has been Lisa with Lisa 6 and 3. You go make it a wonderful day. And I will see you when?